Well, it's that time of year where we do our annual look at every species in the Trachycarpus family from Fortunae, Gemini sectus, Oryphilus and everything in between. So it's the end of the year, it's right at the end of December 2022 and normally do this a little earlier in the season but everything was looking fantastic in the garden until that cold came in early December and then it was a bit sort of touch and go whether or not I'll be able to get this video done in time but thankfully I've gone round and done a close-up of all the trachycarpus so you can see in this video how they fare now how they've coped with the cold in December because nothing was protected here really apart from a sheet over the Martianus and a little bit of fleece around the trunk of the Oreophyllus but everything else has been unprotected so let's have a look and see how they've coped with the weather and how they've grown over the last seven or eight years. So we start with the smallest and by far the slowest growing Trachycarpus and that is Trachycarpus nanus. As you can see it's a nice healthy green colour and we've got probably a couple of leaves that came out this year on the hottest year on record where we nearly got 40 degrees and it's just slowly plodding along after being in the ground for many years now like the rest of the Trachycarpus. It has been shaded out quite a lot by all the plants that grow in front of it but nevertheless it's still steadily growing away. The next is Trachycarpus latisectus and as we've had some very cold weather earlier in the month in December we've got some frost damage on this so the newest leaf has got quite a lot of damage and the oldest leaves as well so it's not looking great at this time of year but it has produced about three leaves this year so not super quick and we'll just go down and have a look at the trunk so you can see the growth of that it's got a bit of a hydrangea growing around it at the moment as well a little bit of ivy you can see it's got still got quite a small trunk and there the petioles quite long here so that is the latisectus next to the latisectus we've got the regular fortunii nice and green we've got the drooping leaflets at the end of the leaves here and it's grown pretty well the trunk on this is a standard trunk that you expect to see on the fortunii and it's quite solid now it's a good sort of 40 centimetres of trunk on there but it still hasn't shot up into the sky yet so it's not grown super quick in this location although it is in full sun and as we're down at this location to the right we can see the next Trachycarpus, Trachycarpus Gemini sectus you can see for the size comparison how small the Gemini sectus is compared to the Fortunii so this is a closer look at the Gemini sectus and it's grown sort of two or three leaves at most this year and it wasn't protected at all by the recent cold weather so this has gone through minus 5.4 and several sub-zero days including a very very cold week in early December and no early damage can be seen on this that's really really good to see but as you can see it's extremely slow growing just like the nanas but with the Gemini sectus you've got thicker leaves and they are pretty much white, completely white underneath. That's a nice variation on that one. And as we pan round from the Gemini sectus, we've got the true Trachycarpus princeps with absolutely beautiful leaves. Nicely finely, finely threaded here, got the beautiful bluey white on the spears here and obviously underneath so if I turn over a leaf you can see they are pure white unadulterated white under there absolutely gorgeous quite stiff leaves as well this is a really really nice specimen slow growing because this was from the second shoot of an original plant where the original growth point died and if we look down we can see the trunk down there as well so it's starting to form quite a good sturdy trunk down there and next to the princeps we've got the trachycarpus nanitol quite droopy leaves on this quick growing very very similar to 
fortuni, but will grow bigger leaves and should speed up. And if we just get both in shot with a fortuni on the left, you can see it has grown bigger, quicker than the fortunii, which were both planted at the same size. And now on to the next palm, which was planted. If you remember back in year one, as Manipur or Ulcrahensis, but it's grown really quick, really big, and it's probably Nani Tal, or it could even be it could even be Nova to be honest. It's unknown, but it's grown very quick, very large. So a very fast growing palm tree, whatever it is. And then next to the unknown Trachycarpus, we've got the biggest of the lot. We've got the Princeps hybrid, so not a true species, but we planted this here all in a line and you can see the size of it. Absolutely huge compared to the rest. We'll just look at the rest in the same shot and you can see it's head and shoulders above the rest. That's a six foot, two meter fence and the trunk is getting close to the top of that. The leaves are going well, well above it. Really big, strong leaves. It's lost the whiteness of the underside of the leaves. So in early years, it did look whiter underneath, a bit more like Princeps, but as it's grown larger, it's sort of lost that now. But the leaves themselves are absolutely huge. And next to the hybrid, we've got Takil, the true Takil. And this has grown much slower and it's got finer leaves. The trunk is very, very, very thin. You can see that down there. There's no width on that at all. I can get my hand all the way around that trunk. So it's growing extremely sort of thinly trunked with elongated petioles. And it looks basically very delicate in form at this stage compared to the other Fortunais and Nanitals and hybrid on the left here. Got nice gingerish endimentum on the base of the petioles. It's growing healthily, it's just pretty slow. Like I said, nice green healthy colour, no damage by the recent cold. Next to this we have by far the most tender Trachycarpus and that's Trachycarpus martianus. Obviously damaged by the recent cold weather, so not looking as good as it was in summer. But it's not killed it outright at all. We've still got some green leaves. So this leaf here, you know, it's pretty decent. And the spear is sort of falling over, which is not great. Oh, the, well, not the spear, the recent leaf has fallen over there. But the spear in the centre at this stage is still firm. So we'll see how that goes in spring. It will lose some of these leaves, but it's pretty quick at growing new leaves. And the trunk itself, remember a few years ago, we had to stabilize the trunk with a brick because it was only rooted on one side. Now I'm happily reporting that it's completely solid in the ground and that trunk is fattening up and it looks very different to the other trunks. It's more tropical looking in my eyes. Nice fibers, close fibers on there and it gets quite slender at the top. So that is the Marchianus no, Nepal form. And then the end of the line here, we have a very distinctive form of Photunii or Wagnerinus with the stiffer, smaller leaves, deep, deep green color, unaffected by any cold weather and the wind, looking stunning. Nice shaggy hairs, fibers on the trunk there steadily growing away. It's growing much quicker than the Takil and Marsh Janus of the Gemini Sectus and Nanus, but not as quick as the hybrid there, but nearly as quick as the regular Fortunii. So great solid palm and very distinctive leaves. And this is a true waggy palm. It's not the cross with Fortunii, so it's got really sort of quite small, stiff green leaves. Now we move on to the Nova, so Trachycarpus Nova, very fast growing palm. It's got droopy leaves as well, so it's similar to, to Fortunii, it just grows quicker and bigger. And this one's been in the ground the same length as the rest of them. It's got a big solid trunk on that now, it's quite wide and it's growing really well in this location. 
And here is another Nova that's in a shady location, growing equally well as the one in more sun. Although it is pretty much in full shade. It's grown taller than the one in full sun, but the trunk's a bit narrower. I'll just point out this palm because it was along the fence line in years, I think one and two, but then we moved it when the jungle hut was built. And this is Tachycarpus takil comon. So not true takil. It's a slightly different variation. And this has grown quite nice. It's got nice leaves that aren't too droopy, pretty stiff, nice and green. And it's been a solid grower over the last few years in this location. Now here's the update on the Ulcrahensis or Manipur that we transplanted from near the Jubea bed to this location it's two or three years ago now. I'll look back on the videos to see if exactly. But it really has sulked in this new location. Did not like the root disturbs at all. And it's hardly put out a leaf, but it's not died. It has slowly grown a new leaf and it's looked miserable like this for the last two growing seasons. So hopefully, as I said last year, it will perk up and sort of start romping away in 2023. The trunk's okay, it's quite narrow, but we really need to see some growth to see how these leaves develop and the silver side of the leaves is quite nice, but it does fade compared to the, the princeps. And now we come to my probably favourite Trachycarpus, and that's Trachycarpus oreophilus which has grown really, really well this year. The trunk on it is now just over 1.8 meters or six foot tall on the base. And then the leaves go much higher than that. It does look a bit ragged now because it's had obviously the full year of wind and storm and cold at it as well in recent weeks. But we haven't got any substantial brown interleaves. The tatty around the edges, but it's still got that really nice slender trunk. And as we get closer, we can see the leaves closer up and we can see how they come out of the trunk, the nice fibers on the trunk, the petioles coming out there nice and clean. And then the beautiful leaves and the newest leaves look so distinctive. The concertina fan shape there where they're fused together but very distinctive compared to other Trachycarpus leaves. Really distinctive palm and pretty rare as well. And I'm hoping in 2023, this will actually flower. Fingers crossed it gets through this winter and hopefully we'll see it flowering next year.